Greetings, and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. By the end of this video, you are not going to be very happy with me. Eh, I'm not happy with myself. But I got to tell you about this. You need to know about it, so let's just do it. Um, here's four random watches. Well, not so random. They're representative of the Android class of watches. Relatively new, if not screaming new. And we're going to talk about pinching and zooming. Pinch and zoom. You know what that is. That's where you can make pictures bigger or smaller by pinching and zooming. It means that the watch needs to be able to receive and recognize two fingers if you want to uh, pinch and zoom, right? Otherwise, you got to zoom a different way. Well, here's the bad news. All of these, except for one of them, does not support two-finger or what they call multi-touch sensitivity recognition on the, um, the faces of the watches. That means you can't put your two fingers on there and zoom an image. You have to do it by tapping. Let's take a look. Good stuff to know. Uh, pick a watch. How about this one? The LEM5. Here is a lizard I've downloaded. Hello, lizard. Now, I just went into Google and put in lizard and got images, and I've got a really nice Gila monster, it looks like. I'm going to try to zoom it by pressing it and squeezing it, and nothing happens. I double tap it, and I can zoom in. I double tap it again, I zoom out. I have one range of zoom. It happens by double tapping. Single tap doesn't do it. Triple tap doesn't do it. Double tapping, no pinch and zoom. That's on the LEM5. Okay? Well, how does it work on, oh, I don't know, the uh, LES1? Come on up, lizard. Are you there? Okay, got a lizard on here too. Let's try. Oh, hey, hey, hey there's the magic one. Look at that. Two finger recognition. I can pinch and zoom all I like. Now, that's not only true for the image. That means you can use multi-touch for all the other apps that can take advantage of that, like games and so forth. Make note of that name, LES1. And the watches that are like it, you know, all of these are kind of like category watches. There's other manufacturers making the same or similar watches. This is the one that's got the button on the side and the camera, uh, sort of like the um, Z Blaze Thor, right? Mm-hmm. Pinch and zoom works on the LES-1. You see the difference between these two? Okay, how about uh, number one's new uh, D7W, which doesn't have that twist to, to show the screen, so let's turn it on. There's another lizard. Pinch and zoom. No. Double tap. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, somebody want to make a watch face out of that? That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Double tap. Okay. Does it double tap to where you're... Yeah. It'll, it'll highlight and go to where you double tap. But you just have that one range. Triple tapping. Doesn't do it. Single tapping doesn't do it. It'll open and close the header. But double tap is the trick. So the D7W is behaving very similar to the LEM5. Okay. And then the last one we wanted to look at is the i4 Pro. We got a lizard on here. Yeah. Whoa, look at that guy. Let's zoom in. Or not. Hmm. Okay. Double tap. Yeah. That's a handsome fella. Double tap again. And you get really close. So on the i4 Pro, we have two ranges of zooming. Triple. No. Single. No. Double. Double. Back. So it's double tapping 
and it zooms in where you're touching and then of course you can position it so you see how um, pinch and zoom works or basically uh, zooming in general on pictures is different on each of these watches are you not happy with me yet because I'm not gonna tell you which ones do what you know these four but you know how many watches I've got here and how many I'd have to go through to find out if they actually do the pinch and zoom like the LES one a whole bunch of them what I will tell you is if I get a chance and if you viewers uh, please in the comments sections want to leave a note about your watch model and whether it supports pinch and zoom one level double tap like these or two level double tap uh, I'd really appreciate that and if I get a chance to test some I'll make a little table in the show notes down below that says the watch name model number and whether it does um, what form of, of zooming it does especially if it does support pinch and zoom which is a really nice feature you getting a little happy with me all right I'm gonna get you all ticked off again uh, no it's not the tick watch this time this is uh, Android watches but I'll get you ticked off at Android watches when I tell you it's all so firmware dependent yeah we've seen some of these watches that will work one way and then they get a firmware update and all of a sudden they don't work that way again not so bad if all of a sudden the firmware update gives you the uh, pinch and zoom capability but really upsetting when you had it before and you do a firmware update and you lose it yes that has happened no I'm not sure which watch it is but I do remember seeing it in the comments so bottom line for today is you've got um, really cool watches that you can play with in these Android watches. They support pictures, images, videos. Some have cameras, some don't. All of them have some way of zooming in on images. Most of the time it's double tapping. Sometimes it's pinch and zooming. It's up to you to add that to your list of criteria when you evaluate what your next Android watch will look like and whether this is a feature you need. You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. Don't blame me if you unsubscribe, but then you'll miss out on all the other good things coming. So keep that subscription and encourage your friends. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.